welcome to Tuesday's Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. As I was writing in Tuesday for the um, the headline, I was like, is today Tuesday or Wednesday? So it's another week where I don't know what day it is. Surprise, surprise. Happy Cinco de Mayo. And it's also another day that we are celebrating Mother's Day because it's Mother's Day this Sunday. And so we should celebrate Mother's all week long. I'm wearing this shirt for Mother's Day. Um, although I just love this shirt because it's one of those like soft, cozy, um, fuzzy t-shirts. Um, so I super love it. Uh, I did want to share with you guys today that I had someone um, request a uh, gift certificate to give to their mom for Mother's Day, and which I do provide. So let me know if you guys um, want one of those. Um, but I, uh, she's here local, so I don't have to mail it. So I, I went ahead and made this little cute envelope. It just uses a piece of the um, Painted Poppies Designer Series paper, and um, and I just folded in uh, as the triangles. It's an eight by eight square, and I folded in each of the triangles to the center, and then I just added that little belly band of red uh, satin ribbon. And I didn't add dimensionals, like I did the dimensionals all around the edges so that you could use that top flap to just kind of tuck underneath there. So super cute and simple way. Uh, if you need a gift for Mother's Day and you're still looking for one, I do offer gift certificates. So uh, reach out to me either in the comments or in a private message and I can get you hooked up. So um, I just wanted to share that as a little Mother's Day thing. The other thing that we are doing today is using up some more retired product. And I am making more Mother's Day cards with the um, Strong and Beautiful stamp set because it's super, super fabulous. I did an entire virtual class um, doing more detailed cards um, than the ones that I'm going to be making today. Uh, so if you want, you can always purchase that. Uh, you can go to laurastamppad.com and click on virtual classes. So I am using up some more in colors. So this is actually pineapple punch, which is not used in the um, designer series paper pack, but I want to use it up because it's retiring. And I think it still looks pretty fabulous um, right there with, uh, with that cards or with that designer paper. So this is all of the best dressed designer series paper. Um, and I think it looks fabulous with that. I'm also using up um, some of my lovely lipstick, which is one of the colors. So I know I've been um, chit chatting for a while now. If you're on, if you're watching, then give me a shout out, say hello, so that I know that I'm not alone. And I know that this is working and everything. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be making a big mess because I don't have anything prepped or ready for today's um, cards. So we're just gonna um, use up some of this. Like I, I really don't have a ton of it. Um, so I thought, oh, well, that's what we'll do today and who knows what we'll do tomorrow. So I'm cutting card bases. This is four and a quarter by 11. And I have some more here. This yellow is really pretty. Um, it's very bright. It's almost a little too bright. It has a little hint of like neon in it, I feel like, but um, but it's okay. And I decided I'm gonna go ahead and just make these all into Mother's Day cards and, um, and send them out. So there are plenty of women that I know. So if I have a million and one extras, I'm not really that concerned because I'll just send them to anyone. Um, anyone who is a woman, pretty much. They're all, they all should be celebrating Mother's Day. So if you're just jumping on, welcome to Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. If, um, if you've been on for a while, welcome to you too. Give me a shout out, say hello. I wanna see who's on, who um, who I can shout out to. So let's see what colors we wanna go with. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna do um, a basic, like a white piece, 
and then a four by four square. And then I'm going to stamp the, um, the greeting Happy Mother's Day across the top. So fairly simple, no, um, oh, and I'm gonna be using some of this ribbon because I have a ton of it left and it makes me so sad that um, it's retiring because it's gorgeous. So I'm just cutting a four by four square. So this piece I'm probably not gonna use, but this piece I'm gonna put on the inside. And I'm just going to cut it in half so that I have two one inch pieces. And I will put one on the top and one on the bottom of the inside. Hi, Teresa, welcome. Hi, Beth. Good to see all of you guys. See, hear, read. I guess you guys are seeing me. I'm not really seeing you guys, but you know what I mean. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. This weather's kind of womp womp, but that's okay. There's a little hair extra on this one. Is everyone having tacos or fajitas or something like that um, for supper tonight to celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Uh, we've never really celebrated before, but we are having tacos tonight. I asked Brad, and I think he thought I was crazy. Um, but I asked him if we had any Mexican things. And he's like, what do you mean Mexican things? I said, well, I kind of wanted to get on my Facebook Live with like, you know, castanets or uh, maracas or a little like Mexican hat or something. We don't have any. So I think I'm gonna put it a little off to the side and then I'll put some jewels, like three little jewels on that side. But I'm not so sure I want this ribbon on this card. I might pick a different ribbon. Um, I think I have one. Hi, Karen, welcome. Ordering Pantera's pizza? To be honest, I don't know that I've ever had Pantera's. So I think I'm gonna use this little strip of lovely lipstick ribbon. That's what we're going to go with, at least for a few of these, until I run out of that. I um, got up at 5 a.m. this morning and placed my Stampin' Up! new catalog pre-order. Woot woot! I hope I did it right, because I don't really remember what all I was doing. Um, but I'm excited to get new product. I know um, Stampin' Up's like picking has been um, delayed a little bit just because of everything going on and um, they've kind of done like a split shift so they can keep everyone safe and healthy and clean in between and you know all of that stuff. Um, so while I greatly appreciate them uh, taking care of their employees and stuff, um, it means that we just have to wait a smidge longer to get our stuff. But patience is something I don't have. Although, becoming a mom has definitely changed, changed or, or um, pushed me to have more, find more struggle with lack of um, patience. All starting with Claire showing up at 41 weeks and three days after 32 hours of labor. So, yeah. Um, I remember the whole time 
everything just seemed to be patience, 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 you know, patience to get to the next week to get to, you know, whatever. I felt like that's all it was, was people just telling me like, just wait, just relax. And then, yeah, whenever it got towards the end and I would go to those weekly appointments uh, and my doctor would say, oh, no, you know, you're, you're maybe a half a centimeter dilated. I was like, I'm going to murder him if he tells me I'm not dilated anymore. Um, I did not murder him. I absolutely love him. That's just a joke. Just in case. I feel like I need to say that. Um, cute and simple. Oh, wait. We still have to do the little inside piece. Um, but, yeah, my water actually broke 20, about 24 hours before I was supposed to go in to get induced. And I drove us to the hospital because I'm always the driver. And, um, like, I drive everywhere. My husband is an amazing navigator. And um, so I asked him, I said, did you want to drive or do you want me to? And he said, whatever you want to do. And so I was like, I think I'm going to go ahead and drive so that I stay distracted. Because I think if I sat in the passenger seat, you know, I wouldn't have had anything to do and I would have, like, thought too much overthinking is my olympic sport i feel like um and yeah so and i was like if anything like it was 11 o'clock at night so i'm like if anything and then we have to pull over and you take over you can but i wasn't contracting at all um it was just my water was broke so it was fine um but there was a oh gosh that's gorgeous i really like that bright yellow it just it's like screams like happy mother's day um I'm glad you like it, Beth. So yeah, that's the first one. I need more white. Um, so yeah, I drove, but like we didn't even notice this because like we were going to bed and uh, I was laying there and I felt like something tight and then all of a sudden a pop and I like, jumped out of bed and uh, no messes except for in my PJs. Um, but like the bed was good, the floor was good, uh, but yeah, my water totally broke and totally did one of those like popping things. Um, so I definitely know what it's like to have your water break. I wouldn't necessarily say it like super gushed. Like, I mean, maybe if I was wearing a dress, it might have like it does in the movies, but I kind of think that's all the movies. But yeah, it was totally like a storm was rolling in and I was like, I just want to get to the hospital before the storm. I don't want to get wet. We made it there. Although I, so since we were going to be induced, then I was like planning like all these things. And on the way there was um, our credit union and I had a deposit because I didn't have mobile deposit at the time. And so, like, as we were going through the stoplight where the bank was, I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot to bring that deposit. Brad was like, are you serious? Why not? Um, so, yeah, I didn't get that in until later. But that's okay. And apparently I was the cutest thing ever because even before... Um, even when we left, like what felt like forever later, um, from the hospital, apparently the nurses were all still talking about me and how cute I was whenever I walked up and said, I think my water broke, which of course, you know, and I know that they always have to do this because it's true and people think that they peed their pants, but really their water just broke, um, or vice versa. They were like, well, let's check and make sure it really did. I'm like, what do you mean? It really did. If it didn't and I just peed myself, then we got bigger issues and I'm going to need the psych ward because that was definitely my water breaking. Um, so luckily, that's what it was. And then I labored for 32 hours and barely got to a six. I think she was just being generous because she felt bad. And I called it and said, I'm ready for a C-section. I'm done. Plus, my epidural came out, and we didn't know that. So I was feeling a ton of pain. And um, they kept coming in and increasing my epidural. 
And I remember the anesthesiologist who was there for all 32 hours. And then he literally handed me off to the next anesthesiologist um, as I was going into surgery. But yeah, he was there the whole time. And I remember him like looking at something. I don't know what it was. And me like looking like I was ready to bite him like a dog with rabies or something. And uh, he's like pointing and poking buttons. And I'm just like, it's not helping. And then we found out whenever we got into surgery that the needle came out. And that's why. But yeah, after 32 hours, I was exhausted. I was in pain. And um, I knew I couldn't get to the next four centimeters at this slow pace and then still have time and energy to push. So I just called it and went for the C-section. We had baby girl like, um, like I remember thinking that uh, if, I asked for a C-section. It's not going to be like immediate. It's still going to take time. So I feel like I need to ask like, you know, early um, because I know it's still going to be, you know, probably a few hours. But I want to say like I asked for it at like six, seven o'clock in the morning and she was born at 820 something, 821 or something like that. So it really wasn't that bad. That one I did flat. The other one I did with Stampin' Dimensionals. I wonder if I can set this up so you guys can actually see what I'm working on, like the whole time I'm doing it. I think you guys can see it there, maybe. Hi, Deb, welcome. So yeah, that's just a little bit about my crazy delivery story. I love listening to delivery stories. Um, I'll be honest, before I had Claire, I was like nervous. I was like, don't tell me because then you'll just freak me out. Um, and now I just love hearing them because I feel like, <laughs> and I, I mean this like as kindly and fabulous as ever because I really don't want it to get any worse, but I kind of feel like it can't get worse. So, I mean, I labored for 32 hours and had a C-section. So, Try scaring me again. One of the things I was more nervous about um, the pregnancy than I was the delivery because I figured the delivery, <laughs> ha ha, um, jokes on me. I figured the delivery was just one day and I can get through one day. It's the nine months that I'm not sure I could get through, which really is 10. Um, but yeah, Claire's like, ha ha, more like three days or two. It felt like three because we went in Saturday night and I didn't deliver her until Monday morning. So it felt like 17 million days. That's why I say we were in the hospital for what felt like forever because we got there Saturday night right before midnight. Like I think it was like 1130 or something like that. And then had her on Monday and left on Wednesday. So it felt like we were there forever. I wanted to bring the nurses home with me. Happy um, labor and delivery nurse week. So if you are a labor and delivery nurse, then shout out to you. Also happy teachers week. So shout out to all the teachers. Shout out to all the moms who are being teachers right now. Um, yeah, you guys are all amazing. And then of course, shout out to all moms. Happy Mother's Day. Of course, we always talk about what everyone's having for supper. So we are having tacos tonight. I see, you know, Karen's having pizza. So let me know what you guys are all having for dinner tonight because it's fun to talk about food. And feel free to share your crazy labor and delivery story or your easy one. And then I can just hope that for baby number two if and when that ever happens. So also I need to give um, a little heads up that Tons of happy mail is going in the mail today. 
um, because my stamps finally arrived. And so I stamped all of my envelopes from last week and got those in the mail. So happy mail is coming to a mailbox near you. Um, if you would like happy mail, um, and there's a chance that I might have already sent you some, um, but if you don't think I have your address or something like that, you can always message me your address. And I would love to send you some happy mail or a Mother's Day card. I'm out of that ribbon now. Let's see what other ribbon we have. There's not a lot of white ribbon that's retiring. I wonder if this would work. Oh, it totally does because it matches that. How many of you guys... Um, use ribbon off the spool or how many do you guys measure and cut or wing it and cut? Um, I'm interested to know. I typically use mine off the spool. I don't know. It's just, it. I almost think I like it because one, I don't know how much I'm going to need necessarily or don't feel like measuring it. Um, but two, it's almost like it's like holding that end for me. So like instead of having two ends that are flailing around, I feel like the one end is being held by the spool. And so I'm all good. Maybe I'm crazy. So do you cut your ribbon off the spool or do you tie with it on the spool? Inquiring minds want to know. Also, um, the consensus with the soda yesterday was by far Dr. Pepper. So, you guys are all big Dr. Pepper fans, apparently. And also, the other one was cherry. Like, there was a lot of cherry Dr. Pepper, cherry Coke, cherry Pepsi, cherry. You're a winner. Um, the other main thing that I ordered this morning besides new catalog product was catalogs. So that means that they will be in my hands soon. Don't worry, I have more. Um, and yes, snail adhesive is retiring, but that's because a new double-sided runner tape is coming out. So have no fear more is coming supposedly it's better i don't know i haven't played with it yet um but we shall see so yes i'm working on my catalogs that i'm going to be sending out some of them um, like my local people i'm hoping um, to have them here and uh, we can do porch pickup or I can drop off, um, that sort of thing. So you can always let me know if you haven't yet that you want one. Um, but hopefully I have have most of like my customers and everything. You're, you guys are all on my list um, if you've ordered from me. So don't worry there. If you're new um, and are in need of a catalog, local or not, let me know and I can always mail one to you. I do have a lot of um, catalogs being mailed directly from Stampin' Up, uh, but you'll still get a cute little gift from me uh, giving you a heads up of when it's supposed to arrive. Because you know, you just never know with the mail. Okay, so now I need to find another paper now that we've done the first four. Maybe I'll just use these and I'll show you guys how I can do that. Um, so I'm gonna cut these at five and a quarter. And this is gonna be our little bit of waste. So I could probably do some sort of fun like um, quilty pattern or something like that, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna toss them. So these I'm just going to put along the edge. And there's always just a hair because I can't get it lined up right. 
and or cut. So it's like that. So I can either um, put my ribbon on and stamp the Happy Mother's Day, or I might take another greeting. Like, you're amazing, and that's a fact. I think I'm going to use that one, and I'm going to stamp it, like, off to the side, and then I'll stamp Happy Mother's Day on the inside. And it's crooked. But I'm sure if you got a card with a crooked greeting from me, you wouldn't care, right? Please say you wouldn't care. You guys are all pretty quiet. Or my comments aren't scrolling. Aw, Winston the puppy is napping. Can you still order this? I'm pretty sure that this designer series paper is still available. Um, Beth, here I should have known. Thought I had that. Hi, Colleen. Welcome. Hi, Debbie. From Michigan. It's probably really cold up there. Hi, Teresa. I'm glad you like it. Ten pounds and fourteen ounces. Oh, you know. So funny story about a big baby like that. Everybody always, you know, goes crazy over a big baby, like a ten-pound baby. Um, but when someone has twins and they're both five pounds, everybody always goes, "Oh, they're so little." That's still ten pounds worth of baby, and even more because usually, like, they're tens or I mean, they're five something. So yeah, next time someone has twins. Remember that that's a lot of baby, too. Two C-sections. So I'm one C-section in, um, and we're not sure on, um, on if I want to try to do a regular delivery or whether I want to do another one. Um, like, I feel like there's so many pros and cons both ways. So I don't know. I think it'll literally come down to the end. My husband's like, you know, scheduled C-sections, perfect. We can just schedule it, go in, have the baby be done, you know, that sort of thing, which totally sounds like me. Sometimes I feel like he's rubbing off on me. Um, so this one's really basic, and it super needs jewels. Um, because I'm the major planner, and of course it would be really convenient with Claire and having someone come watch her um, for that time since we don't have family who live I mean, they live close, but they're not really that close. Um, so it would be convenient for that. Uh, but I also, like, I sometimes think that, like, I want to try it both ways and see which one I like better. But then I'm afraid that, like, um, if I try it naturally and it doesn't work, then I'm going to be like, I should have just done that. So there's some jewels for that one. I think I might add a few jewels to these two. Maybe just one. One little jewel, maybe. So, yeah, I'm not really sure whether we'll do um, a second C-section or not. I'm not currently pregnant. Nope. Off the spool. Off the spool. Okay. So, you guys all do it off the spool. I'm glad you guys are all excited about the new catalog, too. I can't wait. Like, mine, um, Stampin' Up! is sending demonstrators all the new catalog and like some people have already started getting theirs and so I'm kind of like where's mine so um as soon as I think that the mail has arrived then I like run out there there was one day I ran out there like three times and no it still wasn't here um so ever since that day I'm kind of like Laura just have some patience um but I we already had that discussion I don't have a lot of patience um so so yeah, I'm hoping it comes because I just, I don't like looking at it online. It's not the same. You look at it online and it's like you don't see anything. It's like you just want to like flip through it so that you can do the, um, the book report, but you didn't really read it. It's kind of like that. Like 
I don't feel like I see things. I just need to like touch and feel and smell the new catalog because it's just so fabulous. So I'm hoping mine comes real soon. Cute cards, thank you. I appreciate that, Colleen. Am I out of white again? I brought a whole bunch of white over here, so when it's gone, I guess that's my sign that I'm done for the day. Ooh, I don't know. I think it's gonna take me um, more time to get through all of this white that I have sitting here than it is before one o'clock when I have to go put Claire down for a nap. I am in charge of naps and my husband ooh, no, is in charge of bedtime. We do a lot of things routine and we definitely split um, a lot of tasks up. So that's just how it works. I've always done uh, nap time because normally he's not home. Um, and so it's just always been like that. And if I do nap time, then he has to do bedtime because I'm not doing both. Um, but also whenever I have stamp events and things, then he has to do bedtime anyway. So, and of course I used to do bedtime all the time. I used to do all of it because I was nursing her. Um, so I would nurse her. But a lot of times, in fact, as we got a, like a little bit long or, you know, more into it, um, then I would nurse her and then he would burp her and put her down. So we do. He, he definitely is absolutely amazing um, and helps out a ton. And he's the best daddy ever. I told him that he needed to um, make sure that he does a good job for Mother's Day. So. Again, we'll see if I can get him to, um, to video making cards with Claire. Because he did say, I will still get two cards for Mother's Day. Which, how sweet is that? He does a card from Claire, and then he does a card from himself. I'm telling you, he's the best. Which, really, he could just steal one of these out of my stash before I mail them all out. And I would still love it. I actually went out to the store today for the first time since before all of this happened because he's usually the one who has gone to the store. Um, so I went to Target because we had a gallon of milk and we just opened it and it wasn't even past the expiration date, but it was bad. It curdled. It like flopped into his cup and was curdled and gross. Um, Where's, oh, there it is. Uh, so yeah, we were out of milk and I've been kind of wanting to go to Target because I kind of wanted to look at some clothes for Claire. Just, you know, some basics, like just a couple pairs of shorts and some t-shirts or something. So um, so I ran to Target for the first time and it was crazy, but it really wasn't that bad. Besides the fact that like all the meat was gone and all the Clorox wipes were gone, um, everything else was pretty much there and it was all good. I didn't come in contact with anyone. I wore my mask. I wore gloves. It wasn't bad. Making sure my comments are scrolling since whenever I feel like we've gone radio silent, it's really just that I can't see the comments. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy as well. I know I always say that at the end, but I do mean it. I hope you guys all know how much I care and how much I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to start stamping. I'm really hoping that June is gonna open back up um, and I'm planning to do a new catalog launch. I've already set dates in my head. 
um, and I'm hoping for it. So even if we have to bump it like later in June, um, I'm still planning on it because I'm dying to get together with you guys and stamp and see you. Oh, I thought maybe my computer was dying. See, these are super cute too. The greeting's kind of small. I kind of wish I chose a, a bigger greeting because um, it looks a little lonely down there, but I think it's still cute. I really like to fill empty space. I'm kind of like one of those. So it feels too empty, but then once I add the jewels and stuff, then it definitely looks better. If you're just jumping on, welcome to Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. If you're watching the replay, give me a shout out too. Um, I, like I said, I always read back through the comments. I love reading them um, and seeing what you guys all have to say. And I'm also posting these on my, um, my YouTube channel. So shout out to all of you watching on YouTube as well. So these I'm actually stamping Happy Mother's Day on the inside because then it's going to make me use these cards as Mother's Day cards and not just hold on to them as Happy Mail cards. So it's going to make me um, send these out this week because they need to go out, which actually they probably need to go out like today um, in order to get there on Friday or Friday on Saturday before Mother's Day um, because you just never know with the Postal Service on how fast it's going to take. But again, nothing wrong with celebrating um, longer than just the one day. Are you guys a fan of these little jewels or should I go with something else? Let me know if you like it or not. You can be honest. It's okay. I can handle criticism. I feel like I'm kind of on the fence, but I also am like, well, I just want to use these up. Ah. I can't remember all of their names, Karen. I've like drawn a complete blank. But hi girls. Do you like stamping with grandma? It's crazy the stuff that kids get excited about watching and it's so random. Like me and Brad watched this guy on YouTube who um, dives underwater and just like takes pictures of fish or picks up trash or you know just different things like that like while he's down there he always picks up trash but like he also goes into like um, like river beds and stuff and like tries to find you know missing cell phones and stuff like that uh, and Claire loves it she watches it all the time and she's like fish fish so yeah Elena and Taylor that's right hi Elena hi Taylor okay there you go I could remember Tay-Tay, um, but I couldn't remember the rest of them. And at the time, it wasn't ringing a bell. So I need to go because it is 1 o'clock almost. Um, so I still have one yellow piece, and we never did get to the lovely lipstick. So that means that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Don't forget that you can check out the um, Happy Mother's Day card class using the Strong and Beautiful stamp set, but also you can use any stamp set of your choice with greetings in it. Um, and that is one of my virtual classes, laurastamppad.com virtual classes. So you can check that out. Um, I'll also have a comment down below um, or a, in the description box. So you can click it directly from there. Don't forget the new catalog is coming out soon. So that means retired products are going, going, gone. Um, so get those before they're gone. Some items are up to 60% discount. So, um, so check those out. It's always great to get craft products 
um, at a discount. That means you can buy more, right? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys will have a wonderful day and stay safe, stay healthy. Love hugs and prayers to all of you guys. Bye-bye. Happy stamping. Thanks, Colleen. Have a great day.